Inside the powering module of the Sennheiser microphone, you can see that there's um, some symbols for the plus and minus sign of your battery so that you would know which way to load your battery. Notice on the battery, so you have a plus sign in the direction where there's a little knob at the top of the battery. So that's going to go this way inside of the battery chamber. And you'll see that this is the powering part. This is the part that's going to screw into the microphone. For the Sennheiser microphone, you're going to be needing an XLR cable. You can get extension cables to make it longer on your boom so that you can place your camera further away from the microphone. Uh, your microphone will come with a powering module. It will not have the battery inside. You need to supply your own battery power. Okay, so you'll have a powering module and the microphone. And you will also, if you're going into a T3i, you're going to need this type of connector. If you're going into a T3i or 5D, you'll need to get the angled XLR to 3.5 millimeter, um, or what they call it, the cage, the headphone adapter. But it should have the angled post there. The other one with the silver, uh, with the little silver post um, that has a screw or larger configuration will actually not fit into the area where this needs to go to get it seated properly into the microphone port on the camera. So one of the first things we want to notice on the powering module is that it has a plus and minus sign, sign inside of the chamber. And then note on your battery, that you also have a plus sign and so you're going to basically line that up so what you want to make sure you're doing is orienting the plus symbol into the correct direction and notice it also has a little button there that matches the diagram inside and then this will go be seated like this and then you'll screw this into your microphone. And then what you're going to do is to put, turn this to on. Note how it has a little blink of red and goes off. That's correct. It doesn't want to stay on or it would dra drain the battery. But that indicates to you that it's in the on position. Okay, so now, now to the cables. You'll notice that the the XLR cable has either holes or posts, and the posts um, are the male end, the ones with the holes are the female end. And likewise, you'll have posts on the inside of your microphone. So what we want to do is to get this lined up and click that in, then this is going to couple like this, and this is going directly into your microphone. Okay? Um, you want to leave the microphone in the off position when you're not filming so that the battery is not drained. And again, you can check your battery power like this. Make sure that you turn it on. Once you have this plugged into your uh, microphone port on the camera, if the, if the Sennheiser microphone is left off during your shoot, you will not get a signal. So you can check the levels of manual audio um, going into the settings and check to see, once you get your microphone plugged in, you want to check to see and actually touch the element of the mic to make sure that you're getting a signal directly off of the microphone, um, that you're capturing audio into the camera from the microphone. And then you should be all set to go.